Now for more on this, we are on Sports Editor Dick Vijay Singh Dio is joining us live. Hello to you, Dick Vijay. Now a big upset for India at the World Cup. Take us through what happened in the match penalties and then India lost it in sudden death. Well, not just a big upset. I think for Indian hockey, Indian hockey has gone backwards because uh, there has been a slide in Indian hockey and it had gone on for a long time, Alison. And then the Olympics came around and at the Olympic Games, India wore, uh, were on the Olympic podium for the first time since winning the gold in 1980. And that was supposed to be the sort of launch pad for the golden days of Indian hockey to be revived. But this uh, this exit in, in the crossover stage, which is effectively uh, a round of 16 stage, is a huge, huge setback. This is a World Cup happening at home. This Indian team had sort of everything going for it in the lead up to the tournament. They had been playing very well as well. But uh, what is the sort of performance that we saw from them uh, after that start against Spain, where I thought they controlled very well in to start of the campaign, it sort of against Wales, which was the last pool game, which sort of went all over the place. And even in this game, they had their chances. There was no way uh, India should have even allowed this match to go into a penalty shootout. And, and after that, it's, it's a lottery. But even in the penalty shootout, Alison, it was 18 attempts, nine from each side. But they still could not take their chances. The captain, Harman Preet Singh, had a chance to win it in sudden death. He missed. The player after him missed. And then once New Zealand scored, the pressure was on the uh, other Indian penalty taker. And, and he missed as well. So what's going to happen to India? They actually now go to in a World Cup. They were expected to be in the podium. They're actually going to go and play a classification matches for the ninth to 16 places. It's, it's a massive, massive uh, letdown. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.